Landing of the first airplane marking the commencement of business. Hi all liars, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Disney Style and I'm a travel and lifestyle brand. I have a YouTube channel, I have a blog, and I have a podcast. Yes, it's called the Big Dreamers Podcast. Make sure you check that out while Spotify, Google, Android, Google Android. Apple, every form of every channel basically that you can find a podcast, we are there. It's called the Big Dreamers Podcast. We share our big dreams and how we can overcome the others of life together. Anyway, today's video is about <sighs> the Bayelsa International Airport. In case you did not know, now you know. Apparently, they just figured out that they needed an airport, um, which is a good thing. And if you saw my intro, that will help you understand a little bit more about how impressed I am that they finally came to that meaning. Now, a little backstory. The reason why I'm I'm quite excited is because there was a time that I usually travel to Bayelsa for four months in between. And guess what? I have to first travel. That's when I fly. When I fly. Other times it's bus. But like when I'm flying, I have to go to Portacourt and take like two hours journey to Bielsa. Like, and I'm sure it's not it's not just Bielsa that I have this, that has these issues. Rather, other states also have to, like. I'm just really excited because I can feel the pain of some of the Bielsa people that quite travel a lot with air, airplane, but have to travel to a neighboring city like Portacourt to enter. So, hallelujah, hallelujah! <laughs> Thank God for their life. Thank God that. Um, Uncle Dixon is, you know, coming on board with an international airport. It's not even local, it's international. And talking of international, there are certain standards that an international airport must have, which is what we are going to be reviewing today because from what I'm seeing, I'm not so sure. I try to Google the standard of, like, the prerequisite or the main characteristics that a Oh, sorry, that an international airport must have, and here are some things I found out. So, basically, before I go into the like six things that an international airport must have to be called a world class airport. Now, the reason why I actually review airports is not because I want to just review, number one is because I want you to be aware of these airports. Two, big major reason, anyways, is because I, I have a, I believe there's a certain, there's a certain standard or level that we should have as a country. If we don't let them know, I'm trying to bring it to people's knowledge that, oh, this is what it is in world-class countries. Let us also be world-class in our doings. Don't come and give us airport and think you're giving us good airport. Give us a world-class airport. Don't just come and dump something and say, oh, you wanted it, here you go. No, no, no. We deserve the best. We've got two months on here. So now let me read the um, paragraph or the first paragraph. Number one, all marks of its hometown. I mentioned in my previous video when I was reviewing the airport in Abuja, the new international airport in Abuja, that there is not enough art. The airport there looks beautiful. I'll put something here for you guys. The airport looks beautiful. However, it is not does not depict our Nigerian culture. And this article backs that up. It should be able to sell the country, sell the market of the, you know, the place to the people that are coming to the place or coming to the city or state for the first time that's one two seamless connectivity now this is an international airport from what i'm seeing it looks very tiny i don't know the population of people in biosa in fact why do i say i don't know google is our friend okay according to google i'm not even blaming google for this google is just the search engine who is the person that's in charge of this according to biosa.gov.govno.ng the population of people in Bayosa is 1.7 million. So let us say 20% of the people they travel on a day-to-day -day basis. Do you, well, you know what, let me not even go into the size of the airport. I feel like I'm jumping the gun. Let me still continue highlighting or, you know, giving you guys details of what a good or world-class airport should have. Seamless connectivity. I don't know. I'll leave the link for this, for this article in the description so that you can read more. I don't want to 
be like i don't want to feel like a teacher right now that will start explaining everything airports for the people basically what this is saying is that when people enter the airport the people should feel calm people should feel safe people should feel happy to be there and i know i've been to some airports and i'm like oh yo i want to sleep here i want to be here all through the day because they put the people in mind when creating the airport right so that's number three number four personalization is paramount this is basically highlighting customer driven a, a customer driven process that will you know make things easier and reduce stress on people that are traveling number five rethinking service using more of tech savvy now this one is not even just saying tech savvy they're saying how do i meet this, the needs of all my customers that are both tech savvy and those that are not tech savvy now i cannot review this process because i can only talk about it when i am there when i experience whatever service i go there to experience I will, what i can only review right now is the building i feel like i'm talking too much right i want to show you the video so we have how many months to go okay just one more to go they said agile yet invincible infrastructure now my people he said agile yet invincible infrastructure the infrastructure like i said is what we are reviewing today and so far uh -huh, even though i'm happy that there is an airport now not just any airport international airport i am not so, so sure that they <laughs> did the best of the best i mean when i saw this on tv i was watching tv around last week i was like yo are you serious people must know about this when i was watching it i said don't tell me that this is all the airport that i'm seeing i highlighted something under rethinking service poorly maintained terminals are not only unappealing but can contribute to traveler's stress. Hmm. For passengers already nervous about flight, a dirty restroom or burnout light can trigger concern about what else might be going wrong behind the scenes. My people, that's why I reviewed this. I don't know if you've also seen my review on the local airport in Lagos State. Now, someone mentioned that, okay, when I, com like when I was comparing the international airport to the one in Ghana, that um, at least our local airport is good. I went to the local airport to say, okay, if people are, if people are saying it is good, come and see what people are saying it is good. Of course, to some, some extent, to a large extent, it's actually good, but it's not perfect, right? So that's why I do all these things that I do, so that people can, not just any kind of people, there are specific people in the system that should be able to watch this video and get inspired to put in more and give us the best, give us Nigerian citizens the best. I'm basically advocating for development of all-round tourism and aviation in Nigeria. So now let's watch the video. A board is inaugural flight from Lagos to the Bayelsa International Airport in Yenugua are prominent citizens and some officials of the state. 40 minutes after the airpiece aircraft taxis into the International Airport. <laughs> A private jet ferrying the state governor, Siraki Dixon, his wife and some members of the cabinet also touches down to the admiration of all. People are excited. I, I can understand their excitement. I can understand their excitement because, yo, <laughs> not having easy accessibility to travel, it's a big deal. So the dream come true. Governor Dixon harps on the fact that Bielsa is now open to the world. We are here to commemorate the landing of the first airplane marking the commencement of business at our the only airport in the heartland of the John Nation. Five years after it all began, the new airport comes at a cost of 60 billion naira, a 3.5 kilometer runway and a terminal to process 220. So I don't think I heard that well. The new airport comes at a cost of 60 billion naira, a 3.5 kilometer runway and a terminal. 16 billion naira. Airport, they, they are not purchasing airplanes, they are basically just building terminals. And what I'm saying is very small 16 billion to passengers. But airport is not just the runway, you have the apron or what we we'll call the tarmac, you have the taxiway, you have the terminal building, you have the fire bay, and then you have the administrative blocks. This airport can take a 747. 
meaning that it's one of the biggest airports in the whole of West African South region. The length is 3.5 kilometers, while the width is 45 meters. One of the biggest airports. I don't know about that yet. Right now it looks small. Maybe it's, I'm sure it's talking about the runway, the, term, the termark and stuff, but talking about the facility itself in terms of the terminal, like the building now farm. For the first time, history is being made. The debut flight into the heartland of the John Nation is here. We are excited. It will improve, improve our tourism, it will improve our travel capacity, it will improve our business exploits. This is the best gift. And what, what, what a remarkable gift it is. Because, you know, 23 years after the creation of this state, this is the first, first, first time a plane will be landing in the John Nation. It's a big deal. <laughs> it's a really big deal, my brother. Like, for real, it's a big deal. The new airport is expected to provide over 2,000 formal and informal jobs for indigents of the state. The airport has also been declared a free trade zone, not only in the Niger Delta, but also for the Gulf of Guinea. Bayelsa State is hopeful that this will drive better economic development. Well, I'm very sure that it will definitely definitely drive tourism talking about tourism and we shall let me not digress it will definitely drive tourism it will definitely drive economic development because it will facilitate more businesses and travels and all that so that's one video i know there's another video so let's see i just want to show you guys everything i saw concerning this place okay Okay guys, there was nothing much in this second video. It was basically showing us the plane. I don't know if it's just the only plane they have that's owned by the government or... Because normally, right now, Nigerian government, they, have, they own no plane. I don't know. I can't really see this plane very wrong. Maybe it might be one of the Nash, um, commercial carriers. I have no idea. I can't really see it. Well, I don't know why that's the only one they are showing. However, now that you have seen it, now you be the judge. Let me know what you think. Keeping in mind all the things I've listed. And please, if you are from Bielsa or if you travel within or like between Bielsa and other states and you experience this new airport and I heard that they just launched however they just launched or they launched their first flight let me know what your experience is and please leave it in the comment section below share with your Bielsa friends if you have a friend in Bielsa or in Niger Delta the southwest region let them know or share it with them let I want to basically get feedback from those who are in Bielsa who are around by us at all that I've experienced or seen this new international airport. Now, if you zoom in or if you look at this particular place, that's where the structure of the airport is. And that's why I feel disappointed. It looks really tiny for an international airport. Maybe they are only looking or they're just, you know, focusing on the number of population of people. Number of population, what's that? Maybe they're only focusing on the number of people that travel within their states the statistics of people that travel on a day-to-day -day basis that's why they made it that small i don't know but for an international airport it does not make sense it's basically an ambassador to the nation it means or it means people from other countries will come there if they want to if they come to Pesa street they will come there straight and they will see that and that would not depict the best of what nigeria has to offer so that's i think needs to be improved on so that's all i have to say guys if you have any other contributions like i said Put it in the comment section below. I would love to read, respond, and also share with my, you know, friends and family. Yes, I like to go through my comments with my friends and family in case you guys don't know. Um, yes, it's been real. It's been awesome. I like recording. I like sharing. I like also advocating for change and development in Nigerian tourism. And I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, please. do is it kedu? Hey Joe, please subscribe and share, like I said. Till next time, don't forget to stay awesome, stay inspired. Peace!